Our monumental season continues here. We at the uh, trade deadline, 47, 12, and 3. Wazanuski leading the way in points. Crushing it. Our entire team's crushing it. Pretty much everything is uh, working. I think, uh, but, you know, besides penalty kill, but <laughs> that'll, that'll be fine once we get into the playoffs, as it usually is. And, yeah, um, other than that, we don't really have a trade to make here. I might, again, ship out some stuff to grab some picks, but I think we even have enough of those for I need to, can't draft with all these. Yeah, the Detroit one's shooting up in value. They may actually miss. Um, anyway, these four picks, I'll have to move one of those. I can't draft with all of them. We do already have nine picks total, so technically I can't even pick up anything else. Unless I want to perhaps move for... I could move some of these later picks to move for three and fours if I package them with players. Um, again, there's no real guarantee that there's going to be those medium elites. It looked good at the beginning when we were initially scouting. But after that, after that kind of initial thing, we don't have anyone figured out there, and a lot dropped off. Like, yeah, there's still possibles all throughout this area. Um, some there. But for the most part, a lot of them just dropped. Dropped off. Again, still some here, but the ones where we kind of were starting to get them scouted more. You can see them 83, 91, 102, all top nine. So, to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to start uh, to start grabbing picks in that area because it's not looking like there'll be a surplus of medium elites by any means. It's not like there was in the previous year. So, yeah, even here, see guys around that area, 81, 69, guaranteed those. So, yeah, not too great, not too great at all. So I, I don't, think, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just kind of hold on, hold on to my stuff. If I gotta sign some guys, I gotta sign some guys, or I'll let them go if I don't like them. So yeah, um, I don't think I have any more extensions to do, but I'll take a look. Yeah, that's right, Wilson, Wagner, come on, yeah. Those guys are still going to be a bit too difficult, I think, to grab. Just because they're expenses. And Wilson. I mean, I could, like I said, I could do the one by 4 but I think I wait on that. I want to get everyone else locked in. And yeah, I'm not going to go for the grinders, because as I said, we got the other younger grinders who could always step up and... I don't know, maybe Wagner changed his mind, but either way, we got uh, we got the pieces that could could be able to step up and, and make things work here. So, we're just going to move on. We're going to move past the deadline, finish this season off, and get into the playoffs and see, see what we're able to do here. So, let's do it. Oh, that's an early season end. Let's go Edmonton. All right, Inglis coming back. Horvat coming back. Beautiful. Keep our block. Continue simming. We lost the Leafs. Come on now. Losing some games here and there towards the end. We'll see if any uh, major trades happen around the league. Oh, good gracious. It's taking a while. Well, it seems to always take a while. We'll see if there's that. It doesn't even seem like there's a trade. Oh, there is one. Provorov going to Buffalo for two firsts and... Uh, a prospect. That's a lot for Provorov at this stage. Alrighty. And, uh, Chikrin going to Carolina. For a first and what looks like a couple decent pro. Oh my goodness! Larkin to, to the Islanders for Dobson in the third. Larkin in the second for Dobson in the third. Kind of interesting trade right there. Uh, damn. Uh, Columbus getting Bobier. Bennett and a goaltender for a first and I guess that's Jacob Larson. Wow. And Ryan Murray going on waivers. What a trip. He actually is still serviceable if we needed someone, but we don't. Alright. 
Continuing on here. Good. Answered back with a win. Let's win a few. Alright, that's a HL dude. Uh, unfortunately, I think I gotta throw a defenseman in here. Because <laughs> that's all I got in the way scratches. Throw the two way, I guess. Eh. Hilariously maintains a zero. Alright, good. Answered back with a couple dubs there. Big win against Buffalo. I like that. Yaskin's up to a 79. He should be. He should absolutely be a... Uh, oops. NHL. NHL ready next year. He probably technically is this year, but... Well, maybe not. Ah, he is. Yeah, he's now listed. God damn, he's good. 86, 93, 93 in his defensive category. Dude, he's super aggressive, though. He's going to take a shit ton of penalties. <laughs> he's only got 82 discipline. Good gracious. Hopefully Svitov gets the jump, man. I need him. He's going to likely be a third, uh, sorry, fourth line center, but he would be a solid fourth line center. I really, really, I mean, he's 23. He's still got a couple years to do it. I Brust probably is not, he might make it, but as a, maybe getting to like 78 for the fourth line. Maybe. That's the only way I could see him making it. I don't think he really changes his growth tune anytime soon. Oh, talk God. Way too many goals allowed. Jesus. We're losing, like, quite a lot of games here towards the end after doing so, so well for so, so long. Like, we might not even hit 60 wins. Just, that's so weird. If you started out the season and looked at what we were doing, like, there's no chance we didn't hit 60 wins, but now I don't think we are. That's that's kind of crazy. Whatever, though. It is what it is. We still had a great year. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, continuing on here. And we pretty much have to win out, and we're not gonna. We can, I, I cannot believe we're not gonna hit 60 wins on this season. That's fucking insane. We might even hit 20 reg losses. This is absolutely insane how, how shit we're doing at the end of the year. I mean, can you believe it that we're not gonna hit 60 wins? That's absolutely insane to me. <laughs> Whatever, though. Oh, boy. Alright. Throwing Nemo line in, in there. Maintains that plus three. All right, so at least we stayed under 20 reg losses, but holy hell, dude. Like, how many losses came, like, from February on? It's been abs... That was kind of crazy. Uh-oh. It's another injury. Okay, that's a defense. So we got the other guy we could throw in there. All right, that was Nikitin in the top six. Oh, looks like Kemp's back. So he gets to go back in there. Oh, this is still zero. I wonder if, does Nima Linen in there give him any sort of chemistry? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't want to do that. All righty. Let's get to the end of that season here. Wow, triple header AHL at the end. No, that's a quad header for the AHL. Lol. I love I love how crazy the AHL scheduling gets at the end. Look at that. <laughs> game. Game, game, game. <laughs> so we're taking on Anaheim in the first round. That Nilstorp goaltender. All right. So Anaheim will be our first round opponent here. Regular season has been wrapped up. Played more average towards the end of the season. Wozniewski got 109 points. Good enough for first. We had 122 points. Good enough for the presidents again, but honestly, we should have had 130 points plus. I'm a little upset about the way we finished that season, but hey, whatever. Yeah, our goals against got pretty rough at the end. Uh-oh. Uh, power play, 33.7%. Penalty kill, yeah, still me. 6-2-2 two two in the last 10, and that's kind of how the end of our season went. But comparatively to everyone else, I think we're still top dogs. Yeah, no one's close to our goals for. 420, blaze it, baby. Uh, goals against. Uh, yeah, still top dogs in that regard as well. Although I'd prefer it to be a bit lower. It's still real good. It's still real good. Uh, power play percentage. Yep, top of the line by 2.5%. And penalty kill. Yeah, we're probably lower half of the league. Yeah, definitely. Actually near the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost, yeah, we're probably bottom 10. Uh, yeah, we're not great. 
Not great, Bob. So that finally caught us, caught up to us at the end of the year. Wozniewski, 109 points and 63 goals. McDavid with 107, 77 assists, 30 goals. Drysaddle with 97, 41 goals, 56 assists. Pugliarvi, 89 points, 22 goals, 67 assists. Now, someone said this name might be pronounced Rosian. So, I might, I might, I might try to get that. Anyway, he was point per game. <laughs> I, if he doesn't get stack growth, I'll be extremely surprised. He's in his prime. 85 overall, 22 goals, 61 assists. This guy was pretty, he fit in perfectly. And Steven Irwin. Steve Irwin, baby. 72 points, 41 goals. Like, good lord. We had two 40 goal scores on that second line. With Rosian setting him up, man, he doesn't. Not too surprised. Wilson had 45 points. I don't know if that'll be enough for stack growth. He didn't have a bad year. Horvat had 40. Either way, we got some good deals. Carpenter. All right, Blake had. Okay, we did have one guy who missed the 20 point mark. Salve, but who the hell cares? Bouchard, 70 points still. You know what? He ended it pretty well. He wasn't quite on pace for anything that great. Still might be in the running for the Norris. Uh, Jones at 50 points plus 60. Nurse only at 39. He's definitely been sort of declining. Hopefully, the veteran coach can keep him where he is. Chubarov, plus 55. Inglis and Blomstrand, 69 games played for him. Uh, yeah, look at those numbers. <laughs> look how severely they dropped off, man. He didn't even, he didn't even have a 9-10 a, a, a at the end of the year. That's pretty shit. He really, really fell off. Hopefully, hopefully he uh, has, has a good playoffs again. But uh, yeah, best friggin' backup in the world. 21 points only. <laughs> but I probably had to step in a few times. Great numbers at the end of the day. Let's actually see how our how we stacked uh, stacked up to the rest. Did Wozniewski take? Yeah, he did. Oh man, and McDavid was in second, so Wozniewski and he take home all the hardware probably. Hundred nine point season. Let's see goals. It's got to be him. I don't see anywhere else in the. Oh my goodness, ten more goals than Tyler Sagan, who was up there at age thirty seven. On the uh, the Habs, apparently. Tyler Sagan, but Wozniewski has taken on all kinds of hardware. Wow. Yep, assist leader. Would be McDavid there with 77, is what could be expected. Oh, uh, I bet we're going to see all of us up there plus minus. Pugliarvi, McDavid, Dreisaitl, Wozniewski, Erwin, Rosian. Look at that. Look at that. Our entire top six leading the way in plus minus. Game winners, uh, Zegers probably, the most clutch. 9 out of 27, that's 1 out of 3. Pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Alright. Power play goal leader, uh, probably Sagan with 18. Point totals, Jesus! Coke Kinami with 44, Nylander with 41. Look out for, uh... You know, look out for that Blackhawks power play line. Shorties. Uh, Monaghan with four. Wow, and eight points total. That's insane. I don't see any of our guys up there. How about for points? Probably not either. Nope. Monaghan, man, what a beast he is on the PK. Alrighty, let's check out the uh, Selkie candidates here. He sure has got to be up there. Bark up. Bar wow, even Barzal. Wow. There's a few front runners. Lundell, close, but probably not close enough. Who else? Doc, maybe. Perfetti, kinda, maybe. Pedersen, maybe mentioned in that conversation. Michael A. Jensen, kinda up there. Yeah, that's actually a pretty tight race. That's going to be a pretty tight race there. Code Konami as well. Interesting. Yeah, that's... that'll that's I don't even know who the hell they're going to get that to. That's a tight race. Uh, Bokefist, 85 points. Only plus 3. Merkley, though, 72 points. Plus 22. Hughes. Okay, if, you're, if they're going to give it to anyone... I think they should give it to Hughes. 
if they're gonna give it to someone outside these two top guys. It's tight. It's real tight. But Hughes has a high enough plus minus with a high enough point total. I think he would win it. Although Bokvist is, you know, a lot of points ahead of other people. His plus minus isn't great. And Chicago's not a bad team by any means. Yeah, look how many he's coming on the power play. 27. See, between Hughes has the least amount on the power play. Meaning that he's getting a lot of 5-on-5 five five points. I don't know who they'd give it to. It's, it's kind of a tight race. I'd say it's probably between Hughes, Bouchard, and Bokvist. Because these two bumped up by plus minus. Bokvist, obviously, with the insane point total. We'll see. We'll see who they award it to. Let's move on. Goalies. Unfortunately for us, Black would just shat the bed towards the end of the year. Uh, Capo Kakinen. Up near the top, I'd say I'd give him a... Wow. This guy drafting the second round of 23, Caleb Guit. And he's very solid too. So Kakinen and Guit, I'd say, is definitely a tie. So rip everyone's predictions, but remember this guy apparently is 24 now. He's 87. This is his uh, <laughs> this is coming out party. 10 shutouts, seven games played, 46 wins. What a freaking goaltender! Unbelievable. Yeah, man. And Blackwood didn't even make it into the fucking top 10. What a dick. What a horrible end of the year he had. <laughs> oh boy. All right, rooks. Okay, forty-nine. I wonder if that guy's, if that Guit guy's a rookie, he should one hundred percent win it. Colts off forty-nine points. I believe he'll. Nah, he might not be a rookie. No, he's not a rookie. Not by the looks of it. Any rookie goaltender stealing this thunder? Not really, I guess. All right, so it'll be a forty-nine point score who rightfully earns the Calder. All right, let's check out the fun stats now. Hits. All right, a couple guys: Hepo Niemi and uh, Lawton hitting two hundred. And finds <laughs> Ariel Lindros. Two ways, man, all across the fucking board. It's so silly. Look at all those fights, though. Now he had the LA and Ducks guy, and then now this Pittsburgh guy, and probably the Buffalo guy fighting a lot. All right. So that's that. What? 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 Dylan Strome with four fights. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Most of these guys fighting are uh, EA generated dudes. Alrighty. All done there. So on to the playoffs here in the Western Conference. The Chicago against Nashville. Winnipeg against Minnesota. The Canucks and the Sharks. And then us against the Ducks in the East. Pittsburgh and New Jersey. The Canes and the Leafs. Buffalo and Ottawa. And then the Habs and... The Lightning, in the same conference, and somehow at one point they f battle each other for the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> what a weird couple years. Alrighty. So let's see what we're up against here. Let's see what Anaheim's got for us. So, Shostrom, Zagris, LeBanc is not a good team. Comtois, Steele, Raquel, Engvall, Geeky, Stillman, Genther. Wow, he did not pan out. Uh, Borgo and Gru. No, this is not great. Not even, not great down the middle. Not great on the wings. They have an okay defensive core. <laughs> Dowdy. Hold on. Oh, wow, he's got. Yeah, he's got a. That's right. His contract's up. He's on a slightly better contract. Lindholm, Drizdal. Uh, Pollock and Linglet, Dowdy and Montour. It's not a bad defensive core, all things considered. And goaltender, they got Nilstorp, who's been a beast. He didn't do too great in the playoffs last season, so hopefully similar things happen. Perhaps he's not old enough, or perhaps this year he is old enough to carry. Watch out. So yeah, interesting. They have an interesting team. We're much better than them, quite obviously, and we better play like it. Because, yeah. I mean, look at this team, look at theirs. Across the board, we are much, much, much better. So let's get the job done. Alrighty. Game one. Home ice against the Ducks. We're 42, 33, and 7. Let's go, Edmonton. Game one. 
four to three OT win. Will we get the win? A bit closer for comfort. Let's try to uh, get the upper hand here in game two. Nikitin's back. Let me just do that real quick. Uh, there. Put him in. All right, game two, uh, overtime loss. Wow, this is a tight series. 1-1 one, one series, now on the road into Honda Center. 3-2 to two win, this is tight. Very tight, game four on the road in Honda Center. Come on, Edmonton, get ourselves an advantage. Ooh, Evan Bouchard is out till the end of this month. That's a rough loss. All right, what do we do here now? Obviously, we have Yorio. He does give us a plus three. I'd lose chemistry. Chubarov, you know, it's a huge... This would be great shutdown. We won't exactly have the offense, but this is still a good shutdown line. I don't necessarily want to move him down there. I want to maintain chemistry and this, uh, these guys together. We win in OT. 4-3. to three. What a fucking tight series. They're really giving us a run for a run for our money. But we have a, we have a game five here on home ice. A chance to end the series. Do it right now, Anna. Um, no, Edmonton. Do it right now, Edmonton. I said their name. Don't do it. Ah, shit. I said their name. On the road now. Game six. We just lost 6-3. Come on now, Edmonton. There we go. A 5-1 victory. Bit, bit closer there in that series than it needed to be. Definitely. So that was a tight, tight first round. They they, they really kind of grinded us out. Now we get the Sharks in round two. But fortunately, we got the job done. McDavid, seven points in six games, not too bad. Let's see how we did as a team. I don't think our goals against is going to be great. It's not. 3-1-7, 3-6, ugh, not good. Power play is pretty good, 25%. Penalty kill is not, and we're taking a shit ton. Great. We're in that stage now. Okay. Not great, Bob. Not great at all. We allowed seven power play goals of 30 chances. Ugh. I wanted it to step up, but right now it's giving us similar to what it did in the regular season. And our power play is not doing as good. We need to tighten up defensively. And that's on you, Blackwood. You need to shut the door. I know we're missing Bouchard and stuff, but... All right, well, McDavid, Dreisaitl, Horvath. Horvath does this every year. He just steps up in the playoffs. Wilson's got five, Pugliarvi, Rosian, Irwin, Wozniewski. Those two guys slacking a bit. And I felt like we were missing someone else, but I guess we're not... Uh, defensively, yeah, missing Bouchard sucks. He had four points in four games. Got some minuses here and there, which isn't great, but hopefully that gets better. Yeah, Blackwood needs to step it up. He's kind of continued to trend downward since the All-Star break. So hopefully we can get him to have a better second series here. But we're still missing Bouchard, which obviously isn't great, but we're a good enough team to get through this. We absolutely are. I didn't mean to exit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I already checked all the stats. What am I talking about? <laughs> all right. Second round opponent here in San Jose. Donato, Fabri, uh, Robbins. Donato's still on this team at an 89 overall. LOL. Uh, Djokovic, Grigorenko, Gauthier, Lundell for some reason on the third line. Maybe for chemistry purposes. Either way, they, that, that, this is a pretty good team down the middle. Very good team down the middle. Armia, Lundell, and Bailey, and then Hyman, Couturier, Appleton. This, this is going to be a very good defensive type team. Uh, Lilligren and Merkley, uh, Sheikha, Pedersen, uh, Donald Point. An okay defensive core, really good top two. And then, of course, they have Cockin, who killed it in the regular season. Is doing a pretty good job here in the playoffs. So Rokin had to get a win. So they got a decent one-two punch. They got the cheese. Some okay depth. All right, interesting team. They're very, very strong down the middle. Decent wingers. Again, we're better than them on paper, but we are missing our, our top uh, scoring defenseman right now. And he'll be coming back about midway through this series. After he'll miss at least three games. Maybe even four. Which is not great, but whatever. We are we are a good team. Let's get off to a good start here. We need a we need a port on. We need black we need Blackwood to sort of step it up in in goal there. So let's go. Game one. Come on, Edmonton. Get going. Three to two win. That's a good one. A tight one. 
We're going to win some tight games, but we haven't really been able to blow things out of the water. Game two. Five to two. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Solid goaltending so far. Into the SAP center. Game three. Oh, come on, man. Now we're missing Blomstrand as well. God damn, at least it's not Chubarov, but holy crap, this is rough. I'm going to have to throw the grinder in there. Bouchard is back. I don't want to risk it. We're up to we're up to nothing right now. I'm not going I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to throw Kamano in there. Oh, never mind. He's fully back now. Whew. All right. Well, after this game. Thought we might have to do one more, so let's double switch this. Bouchard back in. And Iorio slots down here. There we are. Did we win game three? We did by a score of eight to four. So even though they scored some goals, we absolutely blew them out of the water. We have a chance to end it in a sweep on the road. Let's do it right here, Edmonton. Ooh, three to one loss. All right. They force a game five on home ice for this game five. Blumstrand is back. Let's throw him in there. 77. What the fuck? Why? Ice time injury. What the fuck? I guess ice time. He must have switched to top. Wow. He must have switched to top four earlier than I thought. What the hell? He's been suffering it since February. Like hardcore. He must have, he must have jumped in. Uh, damn. I must have missed that completely. And we lose game four in overtime. Don't fucking do this. Game six. Come on, Edmonton. Oh, okay, fine. It's it's that was gonna be so upset. Come on, Edmonton, don't blow this. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude! Really? Are you fucking kidding me right now, Edmonton? Do not get reverse swept here. Let's go, game seven. This is a joke. Let's go, guys. Short-handed goal from Inglis. I like it. Good start. Good start. We're the better team. Let's freaking play like it. one nothing here so far. Let's get some more. We have been struggling needlessly here in the playoffs. Come on. Kill that. Jesus. Another long one. Is that like two majors already? We have like two guys missing? Holy hell. one to nothing after one. Shots are 11-9. Let's go. Come on. Get another goal. Second period. Come on, Edmonton. Where's the freaking offense? Where's the freaking offense? Power play. We need to capitalize. Can't capitalize on that. And Grigorenko ties it. Oh, Edmonton, don't you dare. Come on. Come on, guys. Where's the freaking offense? Oh, I'm so. This is so scary. I, I don't have a good feeling about this. Third period, tied one. Come on, Edmonton. First, second line. Let's fucking go. Get going. Come on, offense. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. Power play again. Can't capitalize. They're going to have some carryover time. No, they don't. We get another one. Dry sidle, baby. Makes it 2-1 on the power play. That's huge. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get an insurance marker. Insurance marker. Do we need it? Insurance marker. Empty net. Holy shit. And we survive there. We dodge the reverse sweep. Blackwood has his best game of the playoffs, and we scrape by two to one. Ugh, that was very, very scary. Both Cockin and Blackwood had great games, but fortunately for us, we came away with the victory. Drysidle with the game winner, but what the hell is going on? We are struggling here in the playoffs. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good, man. It really doesn't feel good. All right, up we go. Winnipeg here waiting for us in the conference finals. All right. Um, I got to check out on that morale situation in uh, Blumstrand because that, that's crazy. He just dropped out. Of the f Dude, he's still getting... War okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I have to find a way to get him more ice time. I can't. I really can't. Why is he doing this now? Well, our penalty kill's been pretty shit. Oh, 
I'll put him on the PK. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Minus one. I don't care. I have to put him somewhere to get him to stop com fucking complaining. That sucks. All right. Conference finals. That's like the worst thing to be having happen right now. It's probably hurting our locker room chemistry as well. But we made it to the conference finals. It has not been pretty. We have not been doing too great since the All-Star break as a team. And it's kind of carrying over here into the playoffs. We've won, but it did not have to be that hard. Look at that. Like, what's going on? We can't keep the puck out of the net. We're not scoring too much. It's it's not looking good. Power play is better. Penalty kill got slightly better. Look how many freaking opportunities they've gotten. In two rounds, we've taken 55 minors. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, boy. Our opponents, where's uh, where's Winnipeg at? I want to see what they've been up to. It's a fucking good team. That's a good ratio. Decent power play. Not a great penalty kill, so maybe that's our in in the special teams war. And they're very good on home ice. They haven't been great on the road, which is good for us because we'll have the home ice advantage. Uh, McDavid, he's doing his thing. He's doing what we usually need him to do. We got some... Some guys missing for me in there. Wazdowski's caught up. Pooley, Arby, Drysaddle doing all right. Horvath's doing great. Wilson's doing okay. But Rosian, Irwin, these guys need to get better. They're really not carrying the load here. And we're, yeah, not a great amount of depth scoring either. Um, and Bouchard uh, only got one point since being put back in the lineup. Tell you what, it's not great. But at least Blackwood got slightly better. He still doesn't have the stats we need. We need him to continue to get better. He needs to keep playing at a higher and higher and higher level. He needs to freaking earn his money. Earn his keep right here, baby. Winnipeg's up next. The road only gets harder from here. So, Veselian and Shifley. Uh-oh. Ryan Strom coming back to bite us. He's still 86. He's now got bottom six. Connor Perfetti, Dubois. That's a sick second line. Wow, this is a good team. Milano, Eklund, uh, Pirala, Balsers, West. Jeez, this is a scary lineup. Look at that team. This is a team that could definitely give us a run for their money. Run for our money. Not a great defensive core, but who the hell cares because... Yeah, they got Sam Sonoff, who's done fantastic so far. This is a... This is... Yeah. This is a good team. This is a very good team we're going up against. You can see why they're here in the conference finals. This is a very, very, very good team. We're going to have our work cut out for us. We have home ice advantage, but we got we to gotta start getting going here in all the ways. We need good goaltending. We need good scoring. Let's go. Game one. Home ice. Three to two loss. Not great. If we lose another one, I got to make changes. Game two. Five to four win. We kind of scraped by in that one. All right, we need a good, we need a good solid game. Game three, don't care. All right, Bloomel's back. Get him back in there. Game three, three to two loss. We're down two games to one. Need a big game four here, tie up. There we go, we tied up the series. Five to three win. When we can score five, we win. But God damn, man, we cannot keep the puck out of the net. <sighs> Tied series, game five. This is absolutely pivotal. Home ice. Come on, guys. There we go. Four to three victory. We have a chance to end it on the road in game six. Come on. Come on, Edmonton. Punch our ticket. Back we lose an OT. And game seven has been forced against the Winnipeg Jets and the Habs swept their way into the finals jeez all right we could have a can well it's going to be a Canadian finals no matter what is it going to be us or Winnipeg though that's the question game seven I'm, I'm gonna I gotta trust the team I, I I gotta trust the team this is the team that's got us there let's do it again first shot first goal on the power play for Kyle Connor that's not great not a good start, but we have a chance to answer back on our own power play. Come on. Oh, my God, Edmonton. Really? We don't capitalize. Uh-oh. Come on, Edmonton. Come back time. Let's go. Get the offense. 
Get the offense. Okay. one nothing after one. Shots are about even 9-10. to 10. Come on, Edmonton. Offense, where are you? Power play again. Can we capitalize? No, we can't. Who's going to step up and get a goal here? The home ice fans demand it. It's the captain, Connor McDowell. Fuck off. Less than a minute later, they tie, they get the lead back, and we don't capitalize on the power play once again. Come on, offense. Let's we are out. We're freaking out shooting them. Oh fuck! It's over. I don't. It just hasn't felt good. It hasn't felt good anytime we enter the sim. Going into the third period, down by two. We need a miracle. We need a miracle, Edmonton. Come on, guys. Where is it? Where is the offense? It's just not there. It's just not there. They get another one on the power play, and that'll do it. I'm just out of here. Bye. Fuck me. Eight. Wow. Good job. Eight to two loss. Amazing. What a game seven performance. This just, this just, this was just, uh, it just felt shitty. I don't know what else to say about it. It just felt shitty the entire time. We just did not have the playoff performance that we probably should have. Maybe I should have taken a look at it and changed some things at times, but I don't know, man. It was pretty... Eh. I don't know. It, it just wasn't the I don't know. You know what I mean? It just wasn't the same. McDave is the only guy point per game. Bouchard did better as things went on, but this is the... <laughs> Yikes. Poor Skinner. But look at Blackwood. Dude, Blackwood let us down. I'm sorry, he did. He absolutely let us down. He did so well at the beginning of this year, got himself a fucking contract, and then he was terrible at the end of the season and, and in the playoffs. Absolutely atrocious. It's not all on his shoulders, but a big part of it is. This scoring, we've won with this kind of scoring before. We absolutely have. Rosian didn't do too bad. 14 and 20 is not bad. It just wasn't on the pace from what we what we did in the season. Plus Mises especially. So first line was great. It's just it didn't carry over and we lose in the conference finals. We don't have a chance to get the three-peat and defend our title. That hurts. It, it really does. We were such a good team in the regular season. And towards the end there, we started to taper off. And yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't great. It's unfortunate too. I feel like, well, whatever. We should get some stack growth here and there. I'm, I don't know what to do about Blumstrand. If he's going to be a freaking a morale drag down guy, I, I don't know what to do with him. I really don't know what to do with him if, if that's the case. So yeah. Kind of a letdown there, but you know, we, we it's always it's harder and harder to win consecutive cups, especially in this game. And that one, it just something felt different. And probably it's 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 gotta be on me a bit earlier to recognize that, even though yes, we are winning. Yeah, we did get into that game seven. Yeah, maybe I do change something. So once again, we only scored two goals in, in the tech simulation. So, all right. <sighs> Doesn't go our way this time. We uh, bow out in the conference finals. Still, you know, pretty solid year. But at this point, the goal is cups, 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 and cups. And we're not able to get that. So, sucks, but what can you do? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Regardless, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one.